Hello, I just want to make a quick video sharing my thoughts on some of these issues that people bring up about flights in the Southern Hemisphere. And this is a, a typical kind of video that you're looking at here by someone where they've pointed out that a lot of flights from the Southern Hemisphere fly up north. And if you want to, say, fly from Australia to South America, by a lot of flights you've got to go to America and then back down again. And they think that if you look at this from the perspective of the flat earth, somehow it all makes sense, which I suppose is a <clears throat> is superficially plausible. Uh, until you consider some facts about the world. Now, I looked into this and I did expect there is there, is there to be a, an asymmetry between the north and the south. I mean, if you look here, there's a definite um, imbalance in terms of landmass. Most of the landmass is in the northern hemisphere. So I expected there to be more people. However, I wasn't quite prepared for how um, asymmetric the, the distribution of population is. Apparently 90% of the world's population lives in the Northern Hemisphere. But I'll say that again, 90, 90% of the Earth's population lives in the Northern Hemisphere. Also, if you look at the places that are in the Northern Hemisphere, you have North America, including the United States, Europe, Middle East, um, China and the Far East, the wealthiest parts of the world are in the Northern Hemisphere. The people who are going to use airlines the most are in the Northern Hemisphere. So when you look at it from this perspective, it's hardly surprising. I mean, if we look at the, where, is in the, where is in the Southern Hemisphere, well, most of South America, the Southern part of Africa, <coughs> Australia and Antarctica, where almost nobody is. Now, Australia's, um, I suppose you'd classify it as part of the Western world culturally, but it's only got a population of 24 million. I mean, I mean Shanghai's got a population of that, one city in China. But if we look at South America and Southern Africa, um, it's sad to say they do include some of the poorest places in the world. So when you look at it from that perspective, it's hardly surprising that there aren't that many flights that go across the Southern Hemisphere. It's not surprising that most flights originating in the Southern Hemisphere are going to the Northern Hemisphere because that's where most people are going to be traveling to and from. I mean, to give it an analogy, I would say it's a bit like living in the Southern Hemisphere. It's a bit like living in a small town outside of a big city. If you want to get a train to another small town outside that big city, the chances are you're not going to be able to just get a, a direct rail journey there. And chances are you're going to have to get a train into the big city and then get a train back out again. Well, that's kind of like the same thing for the Southern Hemisphere with flights. But there is actually a flight from Sydney to Santiago in Chile. When I actually pointed that out to the guy who made this video, he I basically said the flight doesn't exist. Well, there's actually um, a, a video on YouTube where Qantas um, celebrate launching the service, because I suppose it's quite a big thing in the Southern Hemisphere to have a flight like this. So we can watch a little bit of this. Hi, Travel Daily TV is on location in Santiago, Chile, the gateway to Latin America. It was a colourful start for QF Flight 28 to Santiago, with Chilean dancers performing their national dance at Sydney Airport, giving passengers on the plane an exciting send-off for the 13-hour non-stop journey to this new Qantas destination. And guess who was there to meet them on arrival? Good morning. Yes, none other than John Travolta, the airline's ambassador at large in his pilot's uniform. Even now, so we're to believe that not only have Qantas pretended on their website that they fly this, this flight, but that they made a fake video and announcing the fact, 
and use John Travolta to promote it, to promote a fake flight that doesn't exist. Now, as I've said in another video, I've, I've done the calculations for this flight. It is impossible in the Southern Hemisphere to get from Ch um, Australia to Chile. And guess who was there to meet them? In 12 hours, 40 minutes, you'd have to be flying at about 1,500 miles an hour. A Boeing force 747 flies at about 600 miles an hour maximum. Um, but no doubt, no doubt the flat earthers will come up with some conspiracy to cover this one up, but I just thought I'd share my thoughts on this whole thing about flights.